kids, my name is Andy Dean and I'm going to read a story to you today. The story I wrote is a picture book biography and that means it's a true story about a real person. And this book was published by, Na by Nomad Press who gave me permission to read it to you today. So let's start. This book is called Space Adventurer Bonnie Dunbar Astronaut. Remember Bonnie is a real person. Bonnie Dunbar looked up into the night sky. Her whole family stood outside on their cattle farm, gazing at the stars, planets, and the Milky Way. They were looking for something new in the sky. There it is, Sputnik. The very first man-made satellite to orbit the Earth was passing overhead. Sputnik was proof that humans could travel into space. Maybe they could travel to the moon, to other planets, even to other solar systems. After Sputnik flew across the night sky, many children around the world went to bed and dreamed of traveling to space. Bonnie was one of them. But Bonnie would have to wait to go to space. She was still a kid. Bonnie and her family lived in a farm. They didn't have electricity or running water. Bonnie grew up riding horses, milking cows, branding cattle, and picking asparagus. She drove a tractor, learned how to use tools, and built her own tree house. Bonnie and her family worked really hard. Bonnie also loved to read. She read whenever she could. She read biographies of famous people, stories about scientists, and entire encyclopedias. She also loved to read science fiction. What if, she wondered, what if I could go to space? When she went to school, Bonnie remembered watching Sputnik cross the night sky years ago. I want to build spaceships, she told her teacher. Then you should take an algebra class, he answered. So she did. When you look at an algebra book, you might see both letters and numbers. Algebra is a kind of math that solves problems. Bonnie loved figuring out solutions to math problems. She loved figu figuring out solutions to lots of different kinds of problems. She took all the math and science classes at her school. Bonnie still dreamed of going to space. After high school, she sent a letter to NASA. Bonnie got a letter back telling her she needed to go to college before she could become an astronaut. Bonnie went to college and worked extremely hard. She studied and went to classes and finally became an engineer. She still dreamed of going to space. She applied again to be an astronaut, but again, NASA said no. But Bonnie didn't give up. She went back to school again. And the next time she applied to NASA, NASA said yes. Bonnie was accepted to the NASA training program. And because she was so close to making her dream happen, she worked even harder. Finally, Bonnie rode the space shuttle Challenger into space. Bonnie looked out the window and saw Earth, a beautiful blue and white sphere. And she saw all of the space surrounding Earth, waiting to be explored. The end.